I tell you. Tell you. Tell you. What are you doing, Tell you? Hello, good evening. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Robert Beltran, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm How was your well. day, mister? Resting the whole day. Teacher, how well do you have? Explain me. Give me one second. Give me one second that I cannot hear you. But it's my 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 earphones. Okay. So you were telling me, Robert. Okay, I say to you, I I'm doing well. I was resting the whole day. And the last question that I say to you was, how well do you have this training people have right here? Oh, you are in vacations already, right? Yeah, I'm in vacation. That's so cool. That's actually pretty nice. Yeah, uh, it's pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. That's great. How about you? Me, my day, well, interesting, you know. Same old, same old. Same old story. Working. You said you don't have a vacation. <laughs> My vacation. I will only have vacation. Let me see. Yes, I will get vacations starting Tuesday. I'm sorry. It's raining, right? Yeah, because I barely hear you. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. We're going to talk later, okay? Right now, I can just listen to the storm. Solamente escucho la lluvia. No problem, no problem. Yes, I am listening to the storm. Roberto Guzman, storm, I was listening. Perhaps not yours, Robert Beltran. Yeah, I, I say to someone else. Yeah, I'm sorry, but it was so loud. It was... Uh, in the case of Robert, it's raining yeah, hard yeah, in different yeah, places. Yeah, right now it's raining. Yeah, what a problem, right? It's a big mistake. Okay, okay. But we are having classes. Okay, let's see. Well, Robert, thank you very much. It's always nice to have okay, you here. No, uh, pleasure is all mine. Okay, okay, okay.
Let's see, everybody's having problems with the connection. Okay, well, Sandra, hello, Sandra, how are you? Hi, teacher. How are you, miss? I'm fine. fuerte. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here too, here too. I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, we will try to talk later. Let's see. Uh, 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 Carla Beatriz, what about you? Hello, teacher. Hello, Carla. How are you? Uh, very good, thank you. Okay, how was your day? My day is was very good because I went shop, shopping with my friend. Okay, <laughs> shopping. That's yes. cool. Um, well, I, I ate a lot of topica. <laughs> I'm sorry? Oh, we este comida típica. Oh, typical food. Okay, what did you get? Yes. ¿Qué comió? ¿Qué comió? Um, yuca and nuegados. Oh, I love nuegados. Yes. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> Yeah, you know, that's that's one of the few typical food that I enjoy. Es uno de los yes. típicos que me gustan. Eh, acá cerca venden bien. Hay una señora que ya como que lo ha transmitido de generación en generación. Oh, really? Yes. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Yes. And, and it's good. I mean, uh, the fact that you can, it's good the fact that you can uh, enjoy something, something physical, yes. and it's close to your home. That's great. Que esté cerca de casa es aún mejor. Yes. Eh, es el único lugar donde voy a comer porque las señoras de antes pueden cocinar bastante. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> Um, drink coffee. Drinking coffee? Oh, yeah. With a cup of coffee, yes. man. That's... ¿Cómo that's se dice nice. hace poco? <laughs> okay, hace poco. You say, you say it you like say. this. Not <laughs> so long ago okay. not so long ago no so long ago yes very happy my for my day <laughs> okay yeah well <laughs> that's cool <laughs> yes that's nice that's nice yeah, you know, you can say uh, a few days ago, but actually when you say not so long ago, it's, you're speaking better. Está hablando mejor. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You can say it in different ways, but if you say it like this, you're speaking using a better vocabulary. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Thanks. Let's see. Let's see. Well, thank you very much and welcome to the class, Carla. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Ana Maria, hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hi. I can barely hear you. No le escucho. Está 
Oh, it's raining. Yeah, because I, I, mean, yeah. I barely, barely, barely listen to you. Well, don't worry, Ana Maria. We can talk later, okay? We're going to speak later. Let's see. Walter, Walter Reyes. Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm just fine, just fine. What about you? How's the storm? Is it raining in your area? Llueve por ahí? It's raining. It's raining. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be a problem. It's gonna be a problem. This, this moment uh, I am driving. Okay, we will talk later. Don't worry. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Ruth Margot, hello. How are you? Ruth, hello, good evening. Hi. Nope, I cannot hear you. I guess we are having problems with your connection, perhaps. Yeah. But don't worry, we can talk later. Try to fix it. Monica. Hello, Monica. How are you? Welcome. Hello, teacher. How are you, miss? Um, so so. So so, why so so? Um, I'm shopping. Oh, you went shopping. Shopping. That's cool. What did you buy? ¿Qué compró? Um, telephone. Oh, really? A cell phone? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Mm. So, you got a new cell phone? My sister. Pero mi hermana. Oh, I thought it was for you. Yo pensé que era para usted. No. <laughs> That's so bad. Aguanta, aguanta. Oh, yeah, yeah. You are like me. I never change my cell phone. Yo nunca lo cambio. I mean, I always keep the same. So, uh, where did you go shopping? ¿A dónde fue? Santa Tecla. Oh, really? Yeah. But you didn't spend so much. Espero no haya gastado demasiado. Five thirty-five. I'm sorry. Five. Fifteen. Fifteen. No, quiero ver. Ay, ya me olvidó. Ya me reinicié. What's the quantity? Como cincuenta. Fifty dollars. Fifty. Huh? That's okay. Man, no, that's, that's a. I mean, it's just that. Uh, I mean, the thing is this: some people, uh, some people, you know, like to spend in big cell phones and stuff like that, but. Uh, I am more of the idea of what you need. Yo soy más de la idea de qué necesita. What do you need it for? Para qué lo necesita. I mean, that way, uh, 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 I mean, I don't need a big camera. Yo no necesito una gran cámara. I never take pictures. I hate 
pictures. No me gustan las fotografías. So, I mean, just like that. Así de simple. Um, ¿Cómo se dice reparación? Fixing. Fixing, ajá. Uh -huh. uh, reparación. Ok. So, it's like a... a, a, a... It's like, uh, in my case, I got two cell phones, actually. Yeah. I have one for, let's see, one, two, in one I got two jobs. In the other one I got one job and the family. En uno tengo dos empleos y en el otro tengo un empleo y la familia. I got so many groups. I mean, in, in this one, let's see. In this one, I got like, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. In this one, I got seven groups. Seven WhatsApp groups. In this one, I got, let's see, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. En el otro tengo 13. Ah. Yep. In this one, I have one, two, three email accounts. And in this one, I have two email accounts. So, I mean, for me, it's complex. Tengo tres cuentas de correo en uno y dos en el otro. ¿Y qué? ¿Cómo hace? What? Para acordarse de todo. Well, you have to. Hay que. Yo con suerte me acuerdo cómo me llamo. I mean, you get used to it. Uno se acostumbra. Así despreciar el sueldo. Nah, you get used to it. It just takes time. Solamente lleva un poquito de tiempo. But it's no big deal. Hmm. Yeah, well, I, mean, I mean, yeah, it's like uh, you have to organize your day. Hay que organizarse en el día. The thing is this, in your job is different because you go, you stay in one station, you perform your activities and that's it. Su trabajo, usted llega, se mantiene en su estación, do your thing, hace lo que tiene que hacer. That's it, over. Mm -hmm. My job is different. All along the day, I got, uh, I got different classes. A lo largo del día tengo muchas clases. And I mean, I come home. Rest a bit. Sometimes I go to the gym. Then I come home, teach this class. Sometimes I teach another class after this. A veces doy otra después de esta. And it's like tomorrow. Tomorrow I have uh, one class in the morning. I had, I had one in the afternoon, but I will postpone. Tenía una para la tarde, pero la debo posponer. Because I have a... I have to help in a contest. Tengo que ayudar en un concurso. Uh, related to English classes. Relacionado siempre con lo mismo de inglés. Then, let's see. I will come home. I need to prepare some material for Sunday. Tengo que preparar un material para el domingo. Because on Sunday I have two different classes. So, I mean, you just go like checking out what you got. Hay de organizar que es lo que no tiene. Yo hubiera colapsado el segundo día. Sweetie, uh, uh, in the car, en el carro, I got like, let's see, uh, one, two, three, well, I got a hundred, like, uh, like 200 exams to check. No, como 200 exámenes que calificar. Some of them are four or five pages. Algunos de ellos son de cuatro o cinco páginas. Por Dios. It's just a matter of organizing. I mean, you distribute your activities. Eso no se distribuye. ¿A qué hora duerme, teacher? Ajá. Ya me hablé. Why? No, no. Look, it's different. Like, I mean, in, 
actually in online classes is different because here I'm just focused on you. And classes in línea es diferente. Here I'm focused totally on you. Aquí estoy completamente enfocado en ustedes. I mean, I cannot get distracted. But in regular classes, pero en clases regulares, I mean, I can have you working and me checking at the same time. Le puedo poner un trabajo y me pongo a revisar. And I mean, it's different. Buen punto. So, that helps. Eso me ayuda. And I mean, eh, sleeping is overpriced, overvalued. Este, el sueño está sobrevalorado. I'm kidding. Eso es sagrado, teacher. Eso es sagrado. Eh, well, not for me. I don't sleep that much. No me gusta dormir mucho. I sleep, well, yeah, I sleep like five, six hours. That's okay for me. Cinco, seis horas, está bien. Less than four, uh -uh. menos de cuatro, no. More than eight, more than seven in my back hurts. Más de siete ya me duele la espalda. Yeah, once I wake up, I don't stay in the bed. Una vez me despierto, no puedo quedarme en cama. That's terrible. It hurts. Eso duele. So, you get used to it. You get used to it. Uno se acostumbra. Monica, nice talking to you. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> Catherine, my dear, hello, how are you? Catherine, hello, hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> Tell me, <laughs> what Esperando about la you? tormenta. <laughs> Oh, it's not raining there yet? ¿Todavía no le llueve por ahí? No, a lo lejos veo los rayazos. <laughs> oh, really? Yep. Where do you live? Eh, San Juan Opico. Oh, really? Yep. You live in Opico? Huh? Hmm, interesting. <laughs> That's interesting. You know, I used to work in... in Yo trabajé en San Pablo, Tacachico. Uh, en serio. Yep. What's it Tan lejos. Yeah, I mean, you were barely a, a little girl at that time. O sea, era una cosita like this. <laughs> yeah, it was like, a, let's see. It Sigo was, haciendo. It was in the year 2003. En el 2003. 2003. Let's see, Ay. 2003, no, 2004. El kinder estaba yo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, I was working at a school there. Estuve trabajando en una escuela allá. Yeah. I used to stay there. Allá me quedaba. Uh -huh. Por ese tiempo viví en Arce yo. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Mm. Let's see. ¿A qué fui a Ciudad Arce yo? Oh, for a wedding. Fue una boda. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, pues ya conoce. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Well, you know, I had some friends, like, there's a wedding, let's go. And I, wa and I thought at that time, hey, it's a party, let's go. <laughs> Me dijeron, va a haber una boda, vamos. And I was like, yeah, party. I mean, <laughs> it eh, was eh. <laughs> Christian. Era una boda cristiana. <laughs> I mean, everybody, I mean, the people were happy. They were enjoying and everything. Ellos oh, estaban felices okay. y disfrutando. And I was like, oh, I'm going to burn, me quemo. Ya me lo imaginé ahí, sufriendo. It was, it was different. It was a different experience for me. Totally yes. different. But, you know. I mean, oh, you know, when we were coming back, let's see. No, it was another. No, fue en otra. Yes, yeah, Ciudad Arce is on the way to oh, Santana. Yeah. When we were coming back, cuando veníamos de regreso, uh, you know that, 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 that. We lost the last bus. 
perdimos el último bus. Ay. We were on the road. Actually, we came in the one that comes from, from Mexico. El único que nos paró fue el que venía de México. Was it Mexico or Guatemala? I don't know. One of those. Uno de esos. Sad. Triste. Sí. But, but I, got, I got it home. Pero vine a casa. Es lo bueno. Después de la fiesta. Yeah, I mean. Uh, what can we do? What can we do? <laughs> okay, okay. Yo okay. cuando iba a estudiar, allá en San Salvador me daba miedo. Oh, really? Yes. Why? Porque a veces venía tarde y ya no había transporte para llegar a mi casa. <laughs> Y ya todo oscuro. Oh, really? Nah, I mean, the thing is this, I, I was like, a, 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 I grew up in San Salvador. Yo crecí en San Salvador. So for me, it was like, like normal. Ay, para mí no era normal. <laughs> Más que la gente me queda viendo. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, no. No me creían. <laughs> Mi edad. Really? Sí. Well, you look like a little kiddo. Parecía una niña chiquita. Sí. <laughs> Fue hace cinco años atrás. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's different. Uh, now that you are an old lady, ahora que es una señora mayor, things are different, right? <laughs> Gracias. Uh, no, I mean, you are talking like if you were like very old, like it was so far away in the past. Usted lo mencionó como que estuviese tan lejos en el pasado. <laughs> Come on. I mean, I know. the thing is this, uh, remember, for me, everything, anything that happened two, 10 years ago is yesterday. Para mí, todo lo que pasó hace 10 años es ayer. Fue ayer. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but ayer. I've been here for 43. Yo he estado aquí por 43, so it's different. You see what I mean? Yes. In your case, your perspective is like, oh, three years ago. So they say, ooh, hace tres años. But it's because you are just coming from a different phase on your life. Usted viene de una fase distinta en la vida. You pass from being a teenager to being an adult. Paso de ser adolescente, being adult. When you're a teenager, I mean, two years of difference in age is a whole different world. Dos años de diferencia es un mundo distinto. I mean, the way you think and the way you behave is different from a person that is 20. La manera como usted se comporta y piensa es distinta de la de alguien de 20. And it's es very cierto. different of what you were at 20. Y es muy distinta de lo que usted era a los 20. It's different, right? <laughs> sí. But in my case, <laughs> you know, it's, it's completely the opposite. For me, I mean, things have been like steady. Las cosas han estado, like, como estables for some years now, por algunos años ya. So, I mean, I'm downhill. Yo voy de bajada. Así dice que ya uno ha puesto lo de bajada. Yeah, but what can we do? ¿Qué se le va a hacer? Pero siempre hay que ser feliz. <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> As far as you can, mientras se pueda. Así es. Okay, okay, okay. Well, Catherine, nice talking to you. Thank you, teacher.
let's see guys let me get the attendance well the few of you that are here but i'm sorry i i have to read all the names okay tengo que leer todos los nombres so be patient bear with me ana consuelo amaya merino ana maría rivas durán <laughs> Brenda Angélica Díaz de Chacón, Karen Beatriz Castillo Sensente, David Armando Romero Hernández, Fátima Laura Mejía Meléndez, Fátima Lisset Pineda Paniagua, Gabriela Margarita Vázquez Lemus, oh, Gabriela was here a few minutes ago, Guillermo José Osorio, he also was here. Jaime Enrique Flores Sánchez, José Edwin Valle Franco, uh, José Roberto Ramírez Beltrán. Thank you. Karen Patricia Ramírez Pérez. Carla Beatriz García de la O. Present teacher. Catherine Guadalupe García Chachagua. Present. Mónica Liliana Ocotán Barahona. Present. Nelson Stani Cardona Hernández. Roberto Antonio Guzmán Rodríguez. Present. Roxana Elizabeth Ramírez Lima. Ruth Margot Benítez Díaz. Sandra Chamilet Alvarado Aguilar, Sonia Guadalupe Santa María Cabrera, Víctor Alberto Trujillo Cruz, Walter Manuel Reyes Campos. Present teacher. Thank you. And Xiomara Elizabeth Ramos Escobar. Okay, guys, give me one second. Give me just a second, please. I need to check a little something here. Okay, just one second. Okay, here is the error. Uh, there was a little error in the document, but it's fixed. So let's see, Robert Guzman. Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Can you fine. hear me? Yes, I can hear you perfectly. Ah, okay. Yes, uh, how was your day? It's raining, uh, right? Yes. Totally uh, strong. Uh, today was a uh, bit tired for me because uh, I had an uh, even familiar. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, the anniversary of my dead father died. Oh, <laughs> well, yes, so sorry to hear that. Okay, uh, um. So, to end in the evening, it starts to rain. Okay, okay, well. Well, that's nice. And tell me, what's the plan for the vacation? Uh, I won't be in my home and and do uh, 
anything in the house. No more. I prefer to uh, be relaxed at home. The base I don't, I don't like it, it that much. You don't uh, like going out that much? What? You don't like going out that much? No, no much. No, no much. And uh, at the beach, almost, almost no. no. Okay. It's so, as we, it is so hot. In the, 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 la, la calor no me gusta. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. Well, you know, uh, I I have to go to the beach one of these days. Yo tengo que ir a la playa uno de estos días. I don't like it. Actually, I like it late in the afternoon. Me gusta ya por la tarde and the night perfect. In just a few hours of the morning, you un par de horas en la mañana, but the rest of the time, uh, uh. Oh, uh, my time to share with you is at uh, the 4 or 5 p.m. I want to see uh, uh, el atardecer. Gusta ver el atardecer. Okay, okay. That's the, the sunset. Sunset. I like, I like to feel and um, relaxing. I forget the old, old things in my life. Okay, okay, that's cool, that's cool. Excellent, nice to hear that. Me agrada escuchar eso. Thank you, Robert, and welcome. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Perfect. Well, guys, today it's a little bit atypical because, I mean, uh, 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 we have the problem that not too many of you are in the class due to the fact that uh, due to the fact that the storm is like affecting, right? La tormenta está afectando. And that's a problem. But we are going to work. Tenemos cosas que hacer. Okay? So, we got a question here in the manual. Well, we got a couple of questions, but we are going to work uh, with just two of them. Vamos a trabajar solo con dos. Okay, the questions are the following ones. Do you send emails every day? Should, should emails be brief, brief or long? Okay, think about your answers. I'll give you 60 seconds just to get your ideas in order. And then I'm going to start asking you, okay? Get you your ideas in order, and then I'm going to start asking you directly. So, think about those two questions. Teacher, what is brief? Brief. Brief. Breve. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay, guys, let's see. Robert Beltran, do you send emails every day? Hi, teacher. Uh, honestly, I hardly ever send any emails. I usually talk about Messenger by uh, WhatsApp or Instagram. Okay, so short messages directly to the point. Yeah, that's right. I I I come like I said you I hardly ever I Make hardly use ever send. Yeah. Yeah. Yet due to your job you don't actually need it, right? I don't I don't I don't need to do that in my job because that is not my job. Yeah, yeah, I totally understand you. Totally. Entiendo completamente. It's, it's just not part of your daily activities. Yeah, that's right. Okay, perfect, perfect. And so in that case, I don't need to ask the second question. You think that emails, if you receive them, short, brief. Short. Yeah, I had to be very brief to say something. And even I don't want to read one long answer uh, about my friend you know what i mean yeah i know i know perfect thank you now let's see uh, 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 um, robert guzman what about you do you send emails every day uh, uh, no i don't send email every day but uh, but your social media just by social media. Yes. Okay. But, but I want to uh, be so so brief in my text. So for you, if you receive something, please make it short. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, for uh, depend. Depend. It depends. It depends according to uh, the situation. Oh. If, uh, si lo amerita, si. Well, I can be so, so long. Okay. Cool. Interesting. That's interesting. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, let's see. Now, Katherine, what about you? Where's Katherine? Katherine, where did you go? ¿Qué se me hizo? Aquí estoy. Oh, there you are. Escondida. <laughs> so, Katherine, 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 tell me, tell me, tell me. Uh, do you send emails? No, I don't send emails. Okay. Do you receive emails? Recibe? <laughs> Como dije, tampoco. Neither. Neither. Tampoco. Really? Yep. Wow. So, for you, talking about emails is like, whatever. <laughs> okay, well, you know, today we are going to work with some information about how to how to write or how to text an email. It's interesting. Thank you, Catherine. <laughs> Ruth, Ruth, you look like you receive emails. Yes, I send it. I'm sorry? Okay, you have to reply, send, and receive. I send, I send every time. Okay. Remember, you also reply. You got reply, you got send, and you got receive. Those are different words related to, to emails. You send is enviar. You create, you send. 
Receive, you receive. Reply is to answer an email. Cuando usted contesta un email, is not answer. Actually, it's reply. Okay, how many emails per average do you think you you send or just receive on a regular day? Hello. I barely hear you. Casi no le oigo. Ten. 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 Twenty depends. Yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not always the same. Okay. Yeah, you know, I don't actually. I don't send too many. Yo no, no envío mucho. So I don't have to reply too many. But receive, man. Like uh, sometimes, like today, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, <laughs> like fifteen. Today I got like fifteen. And I'm like, ah. Uh, yeah, the problem is that sometimes, uh, uh, sometimes, sometimes I have to, to, to sort them up, sort up is a verb. Es un verbo, es como uh, when you have different things and that you have to order and classify. Ordenar y clasificar. Sort up. Ok. That's sort up. Would be like ordenar and clasificar. To put in order and classify at the same time. It's, I mean, it's cool because you get you get info, you get what you need, but sometimes, man, some people saying you just, uh, hay gente que le ocupa espacio a uno. Yeah, yeah. yeah you just see the heading. Uno solo ve la encabezada y dice, ah, this is not important. Me pasa bastante. Yeah, and some others you say, these are for later. Algunos dice usted, ah, esto es para luego. And then you get to the ones that you go like, okay, this is for now. Yeah, no. The ones of the boss, those are like in this moment, right now. Those are like right now, right now. Esos son para ya. Right yeah. Now. Yeah, sure. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Thank you very much, Ruth. Nice talking to you. Hey, Brenda. Hello. Hello, teacher. Ah, uh -huh, Brenda, where were you? ¿Qué se me había hecho? No tenía señal, estaba lloviendo fuerte, teacher. Ah, excuses, excuses. No, en serio, se acaba de calmar, teacher. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's good to have you here. Yeah, the, the, the storm has affected many people. Look, I just have half of the class. Mira, solo tengo a la mitad de ustedes. It's, yeah. it's, the storm was, well, in some places they say it was very strong. En algunos lugares dicen que ha estado muy, muy intenso. Sí, bastante fuerte, con viento y todo. Yeah, but good thing is that. Good thing is that you are already in class, the storm passes, everything is okay. Todo está bien, right? Yes. 
Sí, ahorita ya se quitó, ya unas pringuitas nada más están cayendo. Ah, ok. A few drops. A few drops. A few drops. Gotas. Yeah. Ok. I like, I love this word, look. Dew, dew drops. Dew drops. Dew drops. Dew drops. Dew, dew. Dew. D E W is Rocío. So, dew drops is gotas de Rocío. Um, dew drops, gotas de Rocío. Dew is Rocío. Yes. Not the name, the, 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 the water, no el nombre, sino el agua. Okay? <laughs> sí. That's do. Okay. It's a nice word. I don't know why I like the sound of it. Me gusta el sonido. And to be honest with you, I barely use it. Casi nunca lo utilizo. I mean, there's not like, you don't have like the chance to use it like, Constantly, no es que uno la va a usar constantemente. Ok, Brenda, nice having you here. Bienvenida. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Ok, guys, let's see, let's see. We're going to check some tips about related to uh, working on an email. Let me share with you. Let me compartir this. Okay. So, we have to check which tips for writing formal emails do you follow. Compare your answers with a partner. In this case, it's different because you don't actually use that. You don't actually text. You don't send emails. But which tips do you think are appropriate for a formal email? ¿Cuáles creen ustedes de que son correctos para un formal email? Check them out. Uh, we're going to do it here. I'll give you 60 seconds. Le voy a dar 60 segundos, ¿ok? Look at them, read them, and then we are going to discuss. Y luego discutimos. Okay, guys, let's discuss. We have here, do not use all capitals. Okay, why do you think that's important? Why we do not use all capitals? ¿Por qué no vamos a usar solo mayúsculas? Exactly. That's very, very interesting, guys. You know? If you are texting, or if you are texting in, in I mean, that's like a, 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 we have norms for speaking, for writing, tenemos normas para hablar, para escribir, right? But in, in online language, en el lenguaje en línea, whenever you write just capitals, siempre que usted escribe solo con mayúsculas, it is understood that you are yelling. Se entiende que usted está gritando. It represents you yelling at someone. Representa que usted le está alzando la voz a alguien. For real. So, it's something to take into an account, ¿no? Es algo a tomar en cuenta. Imagine Catherine is texting everyone just with capitals. Catherine a todo el mundo le escribe así. Everybody thinks that she's angry. 
<laughs> okay, let's go check the next one. Vamos a revisar el siguiente. Avoid using the subject important. Okay. Avoid, evite. Avoid using the subject important. Okay. Is it necessary or not to use the word important? What do you think? ¿Qué piensan ustedes? I mean, I, from my point of view, using the word important on an email, I mean, all of them, you're going to check them, todo lo va a revisar uno, not just because it says important. Actually, it's better if you are clear on the on the reason of the on the subject of the email. Realmente sería mejor si son claros en el de qué trata, ¿no? The subject. So a good topic is what you need. El buen un buen tema, un buen encabezado es lo que uno necesita to recognize if it's important or not, if it's something that you are expecting or not. Si es algo que uno está esperando o needs to know. O necesita saber. Now, use a formal salutation. Okay. This is interesting. Use a formal salutation. Esto es interesante. Why? Uh, when writing, when texting an email, the way in which we salute, la manera como saludamos, it's uh it's a little bit different and sometimes it's very short it's un poco distinta y a veces es muy corta i mean uh, you don't get that much into dear mister no, no nos ponemos tanto en aquello de apreciable i mean we get like the title of the person le ponemos el título sí licenciado licenciada doctor engineer okay uh, the position they held or la posición que tienen dentro de la compañía. You got the title, you got the last name, a veces solo el apellido, or the full name. Uh, colon, colon, uh, dos puntos, colon. Okay. And next line, we go straight to the point. Y la siguiente línea, vamos directo al asunto. I mean, it's, it's different from, from all, all style writing letters. Eh, muchos de nosotros nos ponían a escribir cartas o nos explicaban cómo escribir cartas, ¿no? It's a little bit different in this case. So, uh, uh, the punctuation is something very important. Nowadays, I mean, the system helps you. Hoy en día el sistema como que le echa la mano a uno, ¿no? So, it's easier. But let's continue. Vamos de nuevo. <clears throat> Be brief. Oh, yeah. In nowadays, uh, in nowadays society, to be brief is something that is very, very appreciated. Nowadays, uh, brevity. El ser breve. To be brief. It's the same idea, es lo mismo. To be brief. is very appreciated. Es algo muy, muy valorado. Why? Because... Uh, I'm sorry. Because, uh, as I was telling you, people live in a world that, I mean, you got different things to do. Like in my case, I got different jobs. I got many different groups. So if you want to tell me something, go straight to the point. Si me quiere decir algo, vaya al punto. Yeah, because I, I need to know the, the exactly the info. I need to know what you need. How do I help you? Necesito saber qué es lo que necesita. ¿Cómo le ayudo? Or what you are sending me. O qué es lo que me envía. Straight to the point. 
and many people i mean there's people who live even in a in a more hectic in a more hectic pace of life ritmo de vida so uh, well you can ask ruth she's got many many emails if you start reading an email and and man three lines and you don't get the points si en la tercera línea todavía no le explican de qué trata el asunto it is it's stressful uno se estresa i mean you need to know what's the situation right after the name uno necesita saber cuál es la situación después del nombre so to be brief is very very important i mean of course brief and clear ser breve y claro because you need to know exactly the information. But you don't need to overdo it. No hay que sobrepasarse. Okay, let's go back. Express clearly why you are writing. Yes, of course, what I was telling you. You have to go right to the point. What we need is what we need. Now, something very important is this. Look, do not use abbreviations and do not use uh, smileys or emojis, okay? When, whenever you are sending an email, siempre que usted está enviando un correo, don't, don't use abbreviations. I mean, it must be unless you are sending an email to somebody who's from your own office or from your own area, somebody who knows all the all the lingo you are using. Alguien que conozca toda la lo que usted está contractando con, con las abreviaciones. But it's always better to send full things. Siempre lo mejor, mejor es enviar palabras completas. Actually, in a formal, in a formal email, en un email formal, eh, it's bad scene, es de mal gusto, if you use abbreviations. Si usted utiliza abreviaturas. I mean, that's not proper. No es apropiado. If it's formal info, never use them. You need to write full words. And that's because you don't want... Uh, misunderstandings es porque usted no quiere misunders oops uh, sorry guys usted no quiere malos entendidos misunderstanding ok so never use abbreviations now it's formal es algo formal do not use happy faces, any type of emoji, cualquier tipo de emoji, is not appropriate. Okay, no es apropiado. Not in a formal email. I mean, and I'm telling you this because, man, there are some people who can write just with emojis. Yo no sé cómo hay quienes pueden escribir solo con eso. I mean, if you text me like that, be clear that half of it I will understand. Si usted me escribe así, tenga la seguridad que la mitad le voy a entender. Besides, I don't have the time to be like checking out. No tengo tanto tiempo. It's like, in my case, it works better if you send me text rather than audios. En mi caso, me funciona mejor si usted me manda texto que audios. Because sometimes, I mean, I spend almost all day busy. And I cannot be like listening. But I can fast easily and Fast, just check it. No puedo estar escuchando con el aparato aquí, pero sí fácilmente puedo darle una ojeada a un texto. So, it depends on the situation, but if it's formal, no emojis, no capitals, okay? Straight to the point. Now, why that much interest on that? ¿Por qué tanto interés en eso? Okay, because... Uh, let's see...
Okay, guys, there's an email address. I need you. Ahí les puse ya un uh, email address. I need, I need you to send me an email. That's for Monday. Necesito que antes de lunes me hayan enviado un correo. To my personal address. I want a formal, a formal email. Okay. Necesito un correo formal. Related to any topic, something of the company. Imagine that I'm new at the company. Imagínense que tengo cualquier posición en la compañía. Perhaps you're my boss. Imagínense que ustedes son mi jefe. Okay. You are telling me something. Ustedes me están dando, me quieren comunicar una información importante. So, to that email, a esa dirección de correo. Okay. You got it? ¿La tienen? It's dr arevalo a1 at gmail.com. Easy. So, I'll be expecting. Estaré esperando. Okay, okay. And, Rox and Ruth went like, oh, one more, uno más. I'm sorry. You'll have to. Look at it. You are used to it. Veanlo desde este punto de vista. Usted está acostumbrada. What about your classmate that who never do it? ¿Qué de sus compañeros que no lo hacen? It's going to be different for them. Va a ser un poquito distinto. But don't worry, guys. In the rest of the class, we're going to check a little bit of how to. Okay? Vamos a ver un poquito más de eso. But now we're going to check. Uh, we're going to have a conversation. Vamos a una conversación. Oops, I'm sorry, guys. I need to get the second attendance. My bad, my bad. Perdón, perdón. Just a few seconds. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Ana Consuelo Amaya Merino. Ana María Rivas Durán. Present teacher. Brenda Angélica Díaz de Chacón. Present teacher. Karen Beatriz Castillo Sencente. David Armando Romero Hernández. Fátima Laura Mejía Meléndez. Present teacher. Gabriela Margarita Vázquez Lemos. Guillermo Josué Osorio no, Ventura. No, no. Present teacher. Jaime Enrique Flores Sánchez, José Edwin Valle Franco, José Roberto Ramírez Beltrán, Thank you, Robert. Let me check on something, guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys. It's just that I... I need to be sure about something here. Yeah, everything's okay. Karen Patricia Ramirez Perez. Carla Beatriz Garcia de la O. Present teacher. Catherine Guadalupe Garcia Chachagua. Present. Mónica Liliana Ocotán Barahona. Present. Nelson Stanley Cardona Hernández. Roberto Antonio Guzmán Rodríguez. Present. Roxana Elizabeth Ramírez Lima. Present, teacher. Ruth Margot Benítez Díaz. Present, teacher. 
Sandra Chamileta Alvarado Aguilar. Present teacher. Present. Sonia Guadalupe Santa María Cabrera. Present teacher. Víctor Alberto Trujillo Cruz. Walter Manuel Reyes Campos. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Ramos Escobar. Ana Consuelo Amaya Merino. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, we have one more, one more. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's great, that's great. Let's hope everybody connects. Okay, okay, okay. The conversation. Okay, let's go to the manual. We are working in unit three, right? Page number 33, página 33. Okay. You will have to practice this conversation with a partner. Take turns talking about the tips you check in exercise two. Okay. So the conversation goes like this. <laughs> Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. I repeat. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. I will repeat one last time. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Okay. Questions about the vocabulary? Perfect. So let's see. This is a very short conversation. Es una conversación muy corta. So, we're going to practice it in groups of three members. So, you can interact with somebody else during the conversation. Groups are open. You got three minutes. Sonia Guadalupe. Sonia, are you there? Hola. Ok, empiecen ustedes, después va mi turno. No, no me han dado la captura. Ah, no, no tengo. No tengo el manual de, así, a la mano. Mm, I'm sorry. Yo solo tengo el manual, así que ahí te fallé. Ahorita la acaban de mandar. Ok. 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 Empiece. Do you often send email? Yes, I do. It is. Ramón, no, 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 no
Okay. Do you um, say email? Yes, I do. It is it's... appropriate to use abbreviation in business. 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 Business email. Business email. No, it is not professional. It is not. It, it is, is not. No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah. And swipe. Sure. Oh, sure. Sandra, Sandra is uh, uh, growing up. Ya está creciendo. I can hear her. Different, the <laughs> voice. <laughs> Cuánta malda. Es una Sandra. Vengo llegando, vengo llegando. Me perdí de mucho. Don't worry, don't worry. Oh, me tiene que enviar un correo. Hijo is bad. Me pasan la copia, chicas. En inglés, but teachers. Yes. ¿De qué se trata? No Spanish. No Spanish allowed. Ok. Uh, ya llegó cuál página. Oh, yeah, because I was checking everything. Yo estaba viendo todo. No hay música. ¿Quién comienza? Eh, yo voy a hacer a mando. Bueno. Pues yo a Frenzel Yes, I do. This is a... a vieja palabra, ¿cómo se dice? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Appropriate. Mm -hmm. Appropriate. 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 So, uh, to use. To use. In to use. Is it, is it appropriate to use? It is appropriate to use. Are you okay? Appropriate. It's a language. Roberto, sí. Está Roberto y Brenda. Yo por eso decía uh -huh. que una vez cada uno, así a veces hacemos cuando nos mata tres. Vaya. Empieza, Brenda. Brenda. In business. In... No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective email? Yeah, sure. I right, do email. You, do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviation in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more this to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Abbreviation. No, el teacher se nos unió. Ay, do you?
let's see. Ah, uh, let's see. Guillermo, are you available? Nope. Okay. Ana Maria and Walter Reyes, please. Yes, teacher. Le escucho, teacher. Okay, perfect. Uh, you start, Walter. You start. Yes. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviation in business email? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips? To write effective email? Yes, yeah, sure. Sure. Perfect, thank you. Now, guys, switch roles. Intercambian. Yeah. Now you start, Ana Maria. Ah, oh. <laughs> no entendí. Do you often, <laughs> do you often send emails? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use abbreviation in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Carla Beatriz and Catherine. Carla, you start. Okay, teacher. Do you often say emails? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use abbreviation in business email? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Intercambiam. Please. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviation in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Perfect, thank you. Sandra Alvarado and Ana Consuelo. ¿Quién comienza? Eh, you, Sandra. Do you ask them some emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviation? In business email. No, it is not professional. I said, could you share, share more text to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay, okay. Sandra. Sí, si la escucho, dígame. She told. Yes, I do. This is appropriate to use abbreviation in business email. No, it is not professional. I see school to share more to so why entity email? Yeah, sure. Perfect, thank you. 
Mónica Liliana en Roxana Ramírez. Roxana, you ready? Yeah, okay. Mónica, you start. Yeah. Usted comienza, Mónica. Permítame que ando buscando la imagen. Do you often, often see email? Yes, I do. Is appropriate to us abbreviation in bonus email? No, it's not professional. I see. Could you show more this to bright effective email? Yes, sure. Switch roles. Intercambian. Okay. Do you often send email? Yes, I do. It's <laughs> appropriate. Appropriate. Tools, abbreviation in business email. No, he is not a professional. Perfect. I see. Cool. Could you. you share more tips to write effective email? Yeah, sure. I see. Could. Could. Remember could. La L no suena. Could. 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 Okay, now Brenda and Robert Guzman, please. What's that? Uh, Brenda, you start. Do you often sing emails? Yes, Hola, I do. Yes, I do. Is appropriate to Ay. use abbreviation no, business no, no, no. emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Only that. Okay. Thank you. Ruth Margot and Fatima. Laura. Fatima, you start. Perhaps it's not available. Uh, Ruth and Sonia Guadalupe. Sonia. Okay, teacher. You start. Do you often send email? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use abbreviation in business email? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more these to write effective email? Yeah, sure. Do you often send email? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviation in business email? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips? To write effective email? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay, perfect. Uh, Fatima and Robert Beltran. ¿Quién empieza? You start. Do you often send email? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviation in business email? No, it is not professional. 
I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yes, sure. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Okay, switch roles, please. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay. Perfect. Just remember, Fatima, effective. 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 Y email se pronuncia emails email. o oh, yeah. emails. Emails. Okay, thank you. No, thanks to you guys. Very well done. Good pronunciation. Okay, guys. Let's see. Remember that you are supposed to send me a, a formal email, right? Pues I'm going to enviar un formal email. So we are going to check out how to write it. We go back to the manual. Regresamos al manual. Okay. We have here tips to write a formal emails. Okay. Now, eh, we have to classify the emails below as formal or informal. These two. For the informal emails, discuss what tips will be useful to make them more formal. But let's check out uh, the tips first. Fill in the subject line with a topic relevant to your recipient. Fill in. Eso es rellenar un listado. Okay? Completar. Fill in the subject line with a topic relevant to your recipient and not just document or important. Okay, let's see. The subject, tomorrow's meeting, Saturday. We don't write document or important. Any question about number one? <laughs> No. Okay, number two. Include a polite salutation. Example, dear mister, dear miss, good morning, etc. Questions about number two? Number three. Write your main point in the opening sentence. Okay, do you remember we were talking about this? We go straight to the situation. Vamos directo al punto. Re you write your main point in the opening sentence, okay? You don't dwell around. No se va uno por las ramas. You go straight to the point. Nos vamos directitos al asunto, okay? Do you, don't use all capital or all lowercase. Ni solo mayúsculas, ni solo minúsculas. Lowercase, minúsculas. Don't use all capitals or lowercase letters. Okay. And also avoid the abbreviations. Okay. No abbreviations, we were discussing that. Be polite. Ser amable. Remember to write please and thank you. 
Always we write, please, thank you. You can write it, uh, look, please. And if it's a thank you, help you, you write thank you, okay? Be brief, very important, remember? If your message is too long, consider using an attachment, okay? Okay, this is very important. Uh, an attachment. Si el mensaje es demasiado largo, and if it's something that you can express, uh, if it's, if it's, you are explaining a document, si usted está incluyendo, explicando un documento, include the document as an attachment. Mejor lo incluye como un attachment. Como, uh, no sé cómo se dice attachment en español. No idea, to be honest. Anexo. Yeah, could be. See? Okay, so you make an attachment and that's it. That's the little that's what the little clip is for. But it's a little clip. Right? Now we go back, we go back. Okay, this is very important. Use a closing phrase like best regards, regards, or looking forward. To your comments. Best regards and regards. Estas dos significan lo mismo que es eh, con los mejores deseos. Okay. Looking forward to your comments. Eh, esperando sus comentarios. Now, oh, let me go back at the beginning. Number two. En este caso, dear, la palabra dear, you use it to refer uh, eh, 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 uno lo utiliza con, con su pareja, ¿no? O con sus hijos, dear, cariño. But when you use it in this context, it's different. In this context, it means like eh, estimado o estimada, ¿ok? In a formal email, when you write before the title, before the name, Dear Mr. or Dear Miss, is, it means estimado. En este contexto, si lo ponemos antes del señor, señora, señorita, significa estimado. Okay? That's how you use it. And remember, something else that you have to remember. I know that uh, some of you got it already. Sé que algunos sí lo entienden. But uh, it's, so, it's good for me to, to remind everyone bueno que yo se lo recuerde a todos, is that if you write Mr., si escribimos Mr., ok, uh, hold on, like in my case, I am Mr. Douglas, oopsie, I am Mr. Douglas Areval, ok, Like this, I am Mr. Arevalo, okay? But I am not Mr. Douglas, okay? In English, that is not correct. Okay, very important that, muy importante eso. Like uh, Ruth, Ruth is, uh, are you married, Ruth? Well, I don't know, bueno, yo no sé, hold on, hold on. Yo no sé si es casada. So, in this case, if I'm sending her an email, como no sé, I just write like this, mess. Yo le escribo a ella y voy a escribir. Mes Benítez. Ok. I can say Miss Benítez. I can say Miss Ruth 
Benítez, but I cannot say Miss Ruth. That doesn't apply. Eso no se usa. No usamos el título con solo el primer nombre. It's like Catherine. Catherine, I know that she's single. Yo sé que ella es soltera. Then, I, if I'm gonna refer to her in a formal situation, si me voy a referir de ella en una situación formal, I write, you are Miss Garcia, right? She is Miss Garcia. Just like that. She is Miss Garcia. She is Miss Catherine Garcia, but I cannot say Miss Catherine. That's not correct. Even less in a formal document. Mucho menos en un documento formal. Robert, he is Mr. Beltran. Mr. Robert Beltran, but never Mr. Robert. You got it, guys? ¿Sí me doy a entender? Perfect. Let's continue. Okay. Add a signature block. I will explain what is this. With appropriate contact information, your name, business address, and phone number. Okay. That's a signature block with an appropriate contact. Okay. When you're talking about a signature block, it's like this. Cuando nos mandan un mensaje, por ejemplo, de un correo que nos cae de la compañía, de, I don't know, like a bank or something, aparece, if I send you an email, it will be eh, Douglas Arevalo, Inglés Corporativo, a phone number, y un número de teléfono, ¿ok? Right at the end. Terminó todo el texto, me despedí de usted, y abajo de todo eso le escribí, Best regards, punto. Y abajo de todo eso, dejo un espacio de por medio, como una línea de por medio. Y abajo de eso aparece Douglas Arevalo, inglés corporativo, and my phone number, y mi número de teléfono. That's a signature block. Ese es un signature block. Es una firma, como similar a una firma electrónica. You got it? Okay. So, Catherine sería... Catherine Guadalupe García, eh, Haynes, uh, Haynes Brown, and her phone number. Y su número de teléfono. Got it? Questions? Preguntas hasta aquí? Remember, you need that info. You're going to send me an email. Acuérdense que me tienen que enviar uno para el lunes. Formal. No questions. Ok, let's go. Teacher. Yes. Este, así como dice en el punto número uno, que podemos escribir en el asunto, este, un ejemplo de cómo podríamos poner In ahí. In this case, you're going to tell me homework. Usted me le va a poner homework, porque ah. es tarea, ¿no? <laughs> Thank you. Edit and proofread before you send the message. Okay, this is very interesting. Edit and proofread. We don't uh, we don't have an expression in Spanish for this word. Nosotros no tenemos realmente una expresión directa para eso. Ok. Si usted lo quiere traducir, es como una lectura de prueba. But what you are doing is, yes, es una lectura de prueba, pero es, it depends on your style. Some of you prefer to read out loud to see how it is. Algunos les funciona leerlo en voz alta. Some people just read and say, oh, it's okay. Always edit. Siempre bueno editar. There's, sometimes there is a better word or a better phrase. A veces hay una mejor palabra o una mejor frase to express an idea. To be perhaps more concise, para ser más conciso. I mean, it depends on the situation. Now, guys, do you understand what you're going to do for me? ¿Entienden lo que van a hacer para mí? For Monday? Okay, I hope so. I hope so. I will be expecting those emails. Créanme, estoy muy interesado en see your homework. It's going to be good. And the good thing is that some of you are already on vacation. Lo bueno es que varios de ustedes están de vacaciones, so no excuse. 
que no hay excusa, no nos salvamos. Ah, I mean, you, you told me, you guys told me that you are free, so I'm so sorry, I'm gonna leave homework. Yo lo siento, le voy a dejar tarea. Okay, okay. Well, guys, and let's see. We're gonna check those emails that we got there in the manual. Vamos a darle una repasadita a los que están ahí. Okay, we have sent to Peter at mail.com. Peter at mail.com. Okay, now the CC is. If you are going to send it to somebody else, este si usted se lo va a enviar a alguien más con copia. The subject Saturday. Remember, we have to prepare everything for the event. Please don't forget the things. See you. Okay, what is this? It's a formal or informal email. What What do you think, guys? ¿Qué piensan ustedes? I think it's an informal email. Yes, it is an informal. Because he he didn't give the whole information in the message. Okay, perfect. What about the second one? Let's check the second one. Veamos el segundo. We got a uh, an email to rover at mail.com. Remember this, la arroba se pronuncia como at. Como cuando decimos la hora, at five. Exactly the same way. Now, look, subject, tomorrow's meeting. Look at the message. Robert, remember that tomorrow we are having a meeting with IT. Don't forget the documents. Questions? It's, well, first, it's formal or informal? Guys. They fall asleep. Yeah, I can tell, I can tell. So what do you think, mister? It's formal or informal? Yeah, I think it's, it's formal. He was given uh, good information about Saturday's meeting. Okay. What he need for Saturday. At the end, he said, don't forget the document. He and the first one said, don't forget the things. Exactly. What things are you talking about? Yes, exactly, exactly. This is informal. This is perhaps between co-workers in a very informal way. But this is different, right? Don't forget the documents. Documents, which documents? Ah, for the meeting. Which meeting? Ah, oh, the meeting with IT. So clear to the point, right? So in this case, we don't have that much to, 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 to avoid. Okay, perfect. We are going to give it a rest. Vamos a darle un poquito de descanso a esto. And let's see. Give me just 10 seconds, guys. Okay, now. Let's see. Hold on. Oh, sorry. Okay. 
let's see, we are gonna get like uh, in a different topic of conversation, okay? Now, we are going to talk about gifts. Gifts. Okay? Do you know, do you remember this word? Gifts. It's the same as presents. Lo mismo que presents. Regalos. Okay? Okay, so let's see. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Catherine, what kind of gifts do you like to give? Oh. And Catherine goes like, what? Okay, okay. <laughs> I'll get you, I'll get you. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> Catherine, ¿qué dijo? <laughs> Procesando. Yeah. What kinds, what type, qué tipo of gifts do you like to give? ¿Le gusta dar? <laughs> okay. So you like to give something that the people can eat. Me gusta regalar cosas que la gente pueda comer. Sí. So that means that you like gifts that you can eat. O sea que a usted le gustan los que pueden comer. También. <laughs> I can tell, I can tell. Thank you. Walter, Walter Reyes, what about you? Hi, teacher. What about you? What type of, what kind of gifts do you like to give? ¿Qué tipo de regalos le gusta dar? Um, um, money. Okay. Now, the easy way out. Esa es la manera fácil. <laughs> so you don't have a trouble. You are always cool. Así queda solo siempre. Me, siempre. Solo me consigo el sobrecito blanco y... And that's it. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. It's well for for us guys it's the safe way out. Para nosotros los hombres es la manera fácil de salir adelante. <laughs> yeah, I understand you. Lo comprendo. Okay, okay. Ruth, what about you? What kind of gifts do you like to give? Depends. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Something they can use. Algo que pueda usar. Okay, yeah. something they can use. Yes, that's perfect. Ah. Thank you. Roxana, Roxana Ramirez. Hello. Hello, teacher. What kind of gifts do you like to give? <laughs> I give a uh, money. Uh, Steam. Simple. Yeah, it's it's easier, right? Yeah. Okay. What about you, Brenda? Hello, teacher. What kind of gifts do you like to give? ¿Qué tipo de regalos le gusta dar? Uh, yo creo que ya es lo más común. El money, teacher. Money, money. Mine. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, yeah. Well, the only thing that I could say, lo único que podría decir is that perhaps with money is just, it's more like a, a, a it's okay. not as personal, okay? Yes. I don't, I don't feel it like it's that personal. You don't, you're not building that connection. Como que no se construye esa conexión. It's just like, uh, here. That's it. I mean, it's not like when you look for something that you know the other person likes. No es como cuando se busca algo que uno sabe que al otro le gusta o le agrada. Right? I mean, 
Yeah, but uh, from the other point of view, perhaps in some situations, in algunas situaciones, when you don't have a close relation with the person, it's easier to give money. Si no tenemos una relación quizás cercana con la persona, it's easier to give money. Or if we know, o oh, si sí, como ya sé, o sea, I know that Walter prefers money, so I know, oh, Walter, money, simple. But I know that Ruth likes things that she could wear. A ella le gustan cosas que podría usar. Cuando nos referimos a usar, is in general. You use, use, ok? Eso es usar como en casa, ¿sí? Algo que usted puede utilizar, eh, una cocina, something like that. That's to use. When you refer to something that the person could put on, algo que las personas se puede poner, you use wear. Creo que eso depende de quién sea, depende de quién le vayamos a regalar. Yeah, of course. Then you use wear. En el otro caso, cuando es ropa, joyería, una loción, is wear. Okay? Okay, guys. Well, let me get the, the attendance. Let's see. Ana Consuelo Maya Merino. Ana María Rivas Durán. Oh. Present teacher. Brenda Angélica Díaz de Chacón. Karen Beatriz Castillo Sencente. David Armando Romero Hernández. Fátima Laura Mejía Meléndez. Present teacher. Gabriela Margarita Vázquez Lemos. Guillermo Josué Osorio Ventura. Present teacher. Ok, eh, Jaime Enrique Flores Sánchez. José Edwin Valle Franco. José Roberto Ramírez Beltrán. Thank you, Robert. Karen Patricia Ramírez Pérez. Carla Beatriz García de la O. Present teacher. Catherine Guadalupe García Chachagua. Present teacher. Mónica Liliana Ocotán Barahona. Present. Nelson Stanley Cardón Hernández. Roberto Antonio Guzmán Rodríguez. Roxana Elizabeth Ramírez Lima. Present teacher. Ruth Margot Benítez Díaz. Present teacher. Sandra Chamilet de Alvarado Aguilar. Present teacher. Sonia Guadalupe Santa María Cabrera. Present teacher. Víctor Alberto Trujillo Cruz. Walter Manuel Reyes Campos. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Ramos Escobar. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I know it was not an easy night. Yo sé que no fue una noche fácil. But so happy to have you here. Yeah. Have a good night. Take care. See you nice. Monday. Monday. Don't forget, we have class. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you for your effort. Thank you, Walter. Appreciate it. For everything. Good night. See you Monday. Good night. Teacher. Yes, mister. Are you there, teacher? <laughs>
Do yes. you have some information about travel information? Oh, look, I have it in the other computer, but tomorrow I'll bring it. Lo, te lo tengo en la otra laptop en mi otro trabajo, pero mañana se la traigo. Solo que para que no se me escape, text me around noon. Mándeme un texto alrededor del mediodía, please. Okay, I will text you. Then. Perfect, thank you. What's a pleasure, Tisha. Have, have a blessed night. Same to you. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night, mister. Nice having you here. Thank you. Aprecio el esfuerzo. Teach, teacher, no sé si escuchó mi, mi, mi mensaje, pero me quedé sin audio. No estaba pasando yes, lista. Yes, no problem. I got you, Roberto. Okay. Good night, teacher. Yo igual no oí cuando me, me mencionó. Oh, no, Brenda, but in your case, I'm sorry. En su caso, lo siento. Don't worry, don't worry. I got you, I got you. No se preocupe, ya la tengo. Okay, good night, teacher. Of the money, Monday. Yeah, Monday, Monday. <laughs> teacher, teacher. Yes? No he podido estar al 100 en la clase por la lluvia, pero he tratado de, de ingresar lo más que he podido. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Okay. Good night. Verde, Ah, verde. Oh, me dice que yo soy la mala. Actually, I got it from you. De usted lo aprendí. Ay, esa es la excusa. Son preferencias. Good night. Son preferencias. <laughs> Good night.